Hi, I'm Stu, and today I'm here in Destin, Florida. This area of the Panhandle is known for having some of the best white sand beaches and emerald colored water in the entire country. And it's also known for seafood. After all, it is right on the water and it was even named after a fishing captain that settled here in the mid 1800s. And its nickname? Well, it's the world's luckiest fishing village. And today, I'm gonna take you around to just some of my favorite places. There's a lot of great breakfast spots in town, but today I'm starting off my day here at my favorite coffee shop, East Pass Coffee. Hey, it's got great coffee, but what you wouldn't expect from this small shop built inside an old motel is that it also has my favorite breakfast sandwich that I've had in this entire area and maybe anywhere. Made on multi-grain toast with eggs served over easy, cheddar, bacon, arugula, and the secret ingredient, hot pepper jelly. This is definitely one of my favorite spots to come for a light breakfast and coffee. Maybe get a little work done. For a casual seafood lunch, it's hard to find a better spot than here at Dewey Destin Seafood Restaurant. It's right on the bay and overlooks Crab Island, which isn't really an island at all, but rather a giant sandbar where you can boat out to, hang out all day, and drink some beer. And you can even jet ski over here for a quick lunch if you want. It's owned by the great-great-grandchild of the Leonard Destin that founded this town back in 1835. They have great sandwiches and then also fried or grilled seafood baskets. And although you can't go wrong with anything on the menu, I can't get enough of the fried shrimp that's made in a great batter. But they close at 8 p.m., so get here early. And oh yeah, make sure to stop by their snowball stand for dessert before you leave. For a local feel with great seafood and at reasonable prices, I can't think of a better place to come than Harbor Docks. They try to use locally sourced ingredients whenever possible, and nothing could be more local than their seafood. They actually own their own seafood market, so the fishermen come in and sell their daily catch, and then they supply their own restaurant, as well as several others in town. I had some reservations my first time in here because they also serve sushi and several Asian-influenced dishes. But Yoshi Eddings has overseen the sushi bar here for over 30 years. And essentially, she's the one that introduced this entire area to sushi. And recently retired Thai chef Mama Dang, well, she's the one that introduced pad thai and fried rice. If I had to choose just one spot to make my regular spot, this would probably be it. And I've never had a bad time sitting at the bar making friends. Oddly enough, what might be the most famous place in town is in a seafood restaurant. And the Meguiar's here in Destin isn't even their original location, which is actually over in Pensacola. But it's been here for over 25 years, and it's a place that's hard not to love. You'll hear a lot of people recommend their great steaks here, and I concur. But they also have some traditional Irish fare, including two of my favorite dishes here, the shepherd's pie and the lamb stew. Although the steaks are a bit pricey, the rest of the menu is more than reasonable for this area. And the meals come with a small loaf of bread with honey butter, and brunch even comes with a free hot or frozen Irish coffee. They even got their own beer. Throw in some live music, two happy hours a night, and it's easy to see why McGuire's is one of the most loved places in town. The one problem with this town is that you come for the beach, but there's so much great food that it's pretty easy to lose that beach body. I'm Stu, and I love the beach and the food here in Destin, Florida.